corrugated roofs are mm-hmm. uh, pretty standard, I think, and it's uh, it's quite common. Popular in Australia. Yeah, yes. uh, but I think one of the problems is that um, a lot of builders and a lot of roofers think that they can use a corrugated roof virtually anywhere. So if yeah. you need a roof, you put a corrugated roof on. Yeah. Not knowing that corrugated roofs aren't supposed to go in anything less than five degrees. What what type of pitch we got here, Jack? Uh, this roof here, we the the client had a leak uh, just in front of us. Mm-hmm. They had a bathroom, and during that really heavy rain, when we had rain for the days and days, yeah. she started to get a lot of mold and dampness in the bathroom, and uh, she's kind of she doesn't think she's had it before. Yeah. Uh, so we come up here and we had a look, and. We're trying to figure out why she's got a leak. Um, there would have been a dead giveaway when you first hopped up here. Yeah, I said it's, it's a, the pitch is a bit shallow, so it's leaking somewhere. Yeah. Um, and the thing with uh, corrugated roofs is that sometimes you can get away with a fairly low pitch; it's yeah. not going to leak. Yeah. Uh, but not all the time, depending on um, the detailing of the roof uh, yeah. and uh, all that sort of bits, right? So we've come up here, uh, the guys have come up, they've, they've actually found a really nifty problem where we actually found two sheets that were screwed together yeah. on the lap. We don't know why there's been a screw in there. So yeah. this, the, the uh, sheet been screwed on the lap and what happens is that when you have the lap uh, tight, you yeah. get a thing called capillary reaction. Yeah. Right. Which is what, what does that involve, Jack? Capillary I think reaction. what happens is that that's the only time when water can travel uphill. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Usually water goes Fires down. Slide, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Water goes down, right? Can't climb up. Yeah. So the only time that you can get water to travel up, right, is by capillary reaction. We have two bits of uh, material close together, mm-hmm. and then water gets in between and it gets sucked up between the two uh, due to capillary reaction okay. and this is what happens on the laps uh, and that's one of the problems with corrugated roofs on a low pitch is that you get capillary reaction on the laps and you get water going in so I think we're gonna just open this lap up and we'll just have a look at what uh, what you will see so this is a standard lay of your sheet corrugate and you will have an over and on the underside you have a slight curl under lap and that will just take away any water that is pulled up by capillary uh, and it will run down and out. Yep. And you can see on this one in particular, you can see here these are the water stains here where the water's kind of pulled up slightly. Yeah. But generally it's kind of sitting because so what the way a corrugate sheet should sit, it'll kind of sit like this. So it'll be a tight point. Yeah, there's a tight point here which will hold water. Yeah. And then because there's a gap, a slight gap, yeah. that, that it can't climb up and then it'll climb and go over. But you can see here at the bottom, there's a lot of water moved. Yeah. yeah. So what draws the water up the lap? Because it looks like the water's been drawn back up. A, a combination of things. Yeah. Number one, you'll see when I lower this. Yes. You see, there's a seal that's slightly longer there. Yep. So even that slight detail there will bring water in. Yep. Will come in. And as well, you can also see these stains on the top. Yes. It shows that as the water comes down, it tends to sit here. It wants to sit and then drip. So, if you've got this kind of flat pitch, very low pitch, you've got a high wind area like we've got here, you're going to get a little bit of vibrating in there as well, and that's going to all combine to create a suction. It's going to happen, and it's going to suck this back. And then what happens? It goes close to where that uh, the the insulation is. The insulation here, which acts where the anti condensation insulation is. This is the anti condensation, but that will act like a wick yeah. if it gets close enough, and it will pull water in. You start to get water movement in here yep. and that's how it gets up water uphill you can see it here. is water running uphill <laughs> so what is the solution then here uh, Jeff you think well number, well number one is you want to have this sheet trimmed back so it's not showing like that yep. you can see there's two points showing here so you want to have, make sure that's definitely uh, you probably even cut so you want to keep a nice clean cut on your valley but you also once once you've got this top cut, you probably want to trim this back like this. Yep. Um, number two is actually just the patch. 
uh, we can't do anything about the pitch where if the client doesn't want the whole thing re-roofed. Yes, I mean like uh, ideally you wouldn't have your, they should never have gone ahead with even allowing this lay because it's three degrees and corrugate is only allowed to be coated up to five. So it's already playing in the ground that it shouldn't be on here, but it is. But yes, you you trim that back. You can, the other option is you can bend the ends of the sheets down. So it causes, you can only do it slightly because it will want to tear because it's corrugate, but that will cause the, that will guide the water more and direct it to drop down. In this particular case, three degrees, you will normally have water drop off the edge. So the main problem is on the laps, yep. the water just being sucked up because you've got the under lap, which is yep. slightly longer than the overlap, yep. which then collects the water and sucks it in. So yep. um, the solution one is to cut the under lap shorter than the yep. overlap so that yep. you don't have uh, that catchment in yep. catching the water in. Yep. Um, now, yes. yeah. Yeah. this, I mean, uh, I, if you really want to go all, like if clients have a flat roof like this of corrugate, it's that option, then the bend down, and then the, second, the third one would be that you seal this entire lap the whole way up, just to prevent any water crossing over into this at all from the top end. Because even if we do trim this back and seal it, you could still get potential capillary water, water cam flow down here. You can see slight, slight bits of water have been running down here even without this. All right, so it's a combination of uh, making sure that the underlap is shorter than the overlap, yep. and then sealing the laps uh, to get away with a less than five degree pitch on a corrugated roof. So there's, there's a lot of work and a lot of sealant on the laps. It's yep. not something that you really want to do on a roof. You would want to start off doing it right. This is all the type of thing that you do in hindsight or to fix something that's been done incorrectly. So if you've done something, if you'd follow the rules from the get-go, we wouldn't be in this position and it's, um, but because the rules haven't been followed, we have to come up with a whole lot of solutions and a whole lot of extra work to make something that would, should have worked the first time. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and how often do you do we come against uh, corrugated roofs less than five degrees, do you think? A lot. Unfortunately, a lot. Too much, eh? <laughs> yeah, wait. And you know, I, I'm thinking, why would an architect or a builder even yeah. contemplating just drawing something up? Because this is a new roof, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's been designed by an architect. Yes. I assume an architect. Yes. So you think they would they would specify uh, less than five degrees? Uh, you would go for a trim deck or yeah. a clip lock roof. Getting in the mind of an architect, that's a whole no, <laughs> whole game there, Jack. Alright, so it's uh it's it's not what we want to see on it on a on a on a new roof. Yep. Uh the wrong profile roof material put on. Yep. Uh but we have the solutions to make it work. Yeah. Uh and it's an alternative to not having to replace this whole roof. Yes. Um, all right. Um, we'll show a little bit of detailing on how we cut the underlap and where we actually put the sealant on the lap so it's most effective. 